Howdy! Welcome back to Pacific Northwest Gold Rushers. I'm Jeff, amateur prospector, and this is Gold Rush 23. Bonus video. Well, um, as I mentioned a couple weeks ago, I set up a Frankenstein sluice. I brought home some black sand from the river, and I found gold, but the catch system wasn't really right for black sands. So, uh, I sent out some feelers on another video asking about mats, so I ended up getting the sawtooth mat. Um, I did go back to try to get some black sand, but unfortunately the pirate, and I call him that because he jumps on people's spots, and and yeah, so it just happens. Um, so all that black sand I had at that one spot that was like five or six inches thick, it was raped. It was completely raped and gone. So. Doesn't mean I can't go some places and find some other black sand, but I know there should still be gold left in the two buckets down there. So I'm going to run that. I got lunch with my sister today, so afterwards. So I've been working on this sluice, my Bigfoot sluice. And the main thing is, I didn't want to, to seal this in. I, uh, I want it to be able to be removable. Because I still want to be able to use the dream mat when I go to the river. So this is just a, a, a makeshift, I guess you could say. But I did have extra mat, so I went ahead, because this one did not have an indicator mat on there. And I said, what the heck? Because every time I've used the dream mat, I can't really tell if there's gold in there or not. But this, would, this sawtooth here should be a good indicator mat. Also, I invested in a power head. Um, it was relatively cheap. Um, yeah. And then I went ahead and got an 1100 gallon per hour uh, pump, bilge pump. I do have a smaller one. If that turns out being too heavy of a flow, I believe I have like a, a 700 in my shed here. So. Right now, because this has been glued in, I want to make sure and give it, I glued it about an hour or two ago. I just want to, I figure by the time I'm done with lunch, it should be nice and secure. And I'll fill this baby up. And then that bin right down there actually has two buck, two full buckets of black sand. Um, I also have a little bit of black sand behind my junk pile over there of my tailings from my gold wheel. And uh, we're gonna play with it. We're gonna play with it today, after lunch. I did clean this, like they said, but there's still some stuff on there. I don't. Looks like some silicone or something. But by the time I get done with lunch, we should be able to fill all the water, fill this water up, play around with it a little bit, just enjoy the day, and uh, yeah. I, uh, I'll have to save up and get a speed controller, obviously, but I've already spent, you know, the money on the pump and the header and, uh, and the mat, so I gotta, I gotta save up for a little bit to get that, um, speed controller. Um, if this works, and it seems to be catching a lot, but maybe it's too small, I don't know, um, I could get this sawtooth mat or the mini dream mat already done for my keen. It's already made, but with the sawtooth, if it works, I could replace my mats in there with that. Um, we'll see. No, it's just just for something to do in the afternoon. So I'm going to get ready to go have lunch with my sister. And then we're going to see if this thing catches any more gold out of that. We'll let you know. Gold Rush 
But hey, okay, I just finished lunch with my sister and uh, made it home. Gave that silicone plenty of time to dry. Uh, first off, that doesn't clamp well enough. It's not the appropriate size, but I can put some plumber's tape around that later. It's, it's at least going back into there. But uh, I got all the air bubbles out. And there's all of my sand. So, in fact, might as well. Let's see. Oh, I forgot how dense that stuff is. Working its way over. Now again, I've never beach mined. <laughs> so I just remember watching videos and you guys say you want it to feed very slowly all the way down. I guess I could give it a little more pitch. Yeah, maybe I should give her just a little bit more pitch. But, I'm just going to sit here and relax and feed this thing and then I have it actually feeding into a bucket. I'm not going to be running this stuff again unless I have a catastrophic failure. So I'm just going to end up dumping those black sands. But then I have a secondary tub, my concrete tub catch any silt or whatever because I don't want it going into the pump so right now it's a nice cool day beautiful day let's see if I missed any nugs beach nugs gold rush 23 well, howdy just an update so I did I had to uh, raise it up a little bit more and again yeah I know that thing's leaking but I ain't worried about it right now I can fix that later we're just fiddle farting right now but this does seem better, more like what I see in your guys' videos. See it working itself down. So it's almost through the indicator mat. So my amateur butt thinks that's running okay. So. I'm just going to be feeding here, enjoying myself. I'll update you when I see the node. Go Rush 23. Howdy, hey, just an update. Well, like I said before, I don't really know what I'm doing other than your guys' videos. But it seems to be running. I, uh, I can't see any gold but I don't have my that might be up here but I've run about I would have to guess about a half a bucket so I'm actually gonna shut it down and take my first look first time using a sawtooth That's gold right there, and right there. I don't know. I might have to get my reading glasses on though. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But darn it, I want to see gold for the first time. There we go. We'll put the readers on. That way I can see that there's nothing to see. Oh, no. There's gold there. There's gold there. I don't know. Was I supposed to... Is I supposed to run it a little longer? I know you guys say, hey, I'm going to run it for a while and let it clean itself out. Was I supposed to do that? Oh, there is gold right there. So that's good. That's my indicator, Matt. 
Oh, we got gold up in here. I don't know. That looks like I didn't clean that one well enough either. It will wear up. I have no idea what I'm doing. Still got a lot of black sands, but I don't want to fill this bucket up all the way to dump it because those are some heavy son of guns, and that almost broke my back just carrying that over here. So, again, just enjoying the day. Let me get that dumped and get back to running. Cold Rest 23. Well, howdy, hey, just an update. Okay. So my gut feeling said I was running a little bit hot because I did have that up about another inch. And also because I don't know what I'm doing and I'm paranoid. So I've been only taking about a third of a bucket at a time over to my gravel over there. And so I figure while I'm feeding because when I lowered the pitch it takes considerably longer to clean out. So I figured, oh, you know, I'll take my super sluice over there in my scoop. So I dumped that twice, and I just took, you know, just a half a scoop through the, from one pile, and then a half a scoop from the other. And my thinking is, well, that, that technically would be the bottom of the bucket, which is where the, excuse me, hiccups, where the gold would settle. So it took a while, because that was kind of too much black sand to do, but I just took my time little by little. Until I could get it into my SP14 and then I could control it a little bit better. And it took a while, but again, I'm just enjoying myself. But here's where I need help. So come on, come on. So there's two specks of gold there. Um, one of them I couldn't see without my reading glasses, but it's there. The other one I could. So, and that's just the equivalent of maybe one of these, one of these scoops. So now I'm questioning myself: Am I doing it right? Is it impossible to catch every flake with beach sand? Um, should I recollect it or most of it that I can and run it again? Um, am I not running this right or am I running it too fast, too slow? This is where I need your guys' help to do beach mining. I mean, I don't know. I don't like to lose any gold, not even a big old monster beach nug like that. Um, so I really am curious. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is, is it, is, you know, I know you can only catch so much gold. I mean, there, it's impossible to do 100%. But to me, even though those two flakes don't add up to much, it was only one, it was only one scoop of something that I already ran through. So, Actually, right now, thinking about it, at least now I know there's gold in there. So, serious question. From what you've seen me point out, I'm using sawtooth mat. I, I've got the jet dry in it and everything. I'm not feeding it too fast, I don't think. I don't know if you feel the water flow is too fast. I did clean this mat, but this stuff here, I, I've been trying to... It won't even scrape off with my finger. Oh, there it goes. It's like a silicone. I was trying earlier. It's like that one won't come off yet. Oh, there it goes. Maybe I just needed to get more water on it. Oh, no, it's back. But anyway, uh, yeah. New experience, guys. Let me know. Is it just impossible to catch it all, or am I doing something wrong? I'd really like to know. Uh, we're about two-thirds done. 
maybe a little over half, two thirds. So I just wanted to do something, so I panned that back, and luckily I found a node. Oh, two nodes. Oh, that's 23. Howdy, hey. Okay, serious question because, again, I don't know what I'm doing other than watching your guys' videos. Uh, feed rate. So, what I've been doing is I, I take a scoop out of here. Look how black that stuff is. And I sprinkle it in. I let it, I let it work its way down. And you see where the lock lip is? And I wait until it's almost all gone out of there. Because you can still see the black sand's coming down. And so about right there, I take more. And then let it do it. So my question is, and obviously, you know, that's about uh, that's about six inches, and then that's about thirty inches. Um, is that too fast, or is it I can go faster? Um, I know this gold is just like microscopic stuff, but I, I see the sands working barely, but. Do I wait until there's absolutely nothing else moving and put it in there, or just feed it like at that rate? I know I'd appreciate a comment if you guys would beat mine and letting me know. But I'm just going to keep going today and hope for the best. Gold Rush 23. Howdy, hey! Okay, well, I got two buckets emptied. And that black sand at the bottom was getting really packed in there. So, again, I don't see anything in there. But I also don't have my readers on. And one comment told me that most of the time you don't see it until you clean it out anyway. So, but uh, I still, I don't know if I'm... If I'm running too hot, I don't know. If anybody, uh, like I said, you know, those two beach nodes, um, they just make me think, and that's all. Um, I know it's impossible to catch 100%, but for basically two half a scoops, um, and I probably didn't pan it all great anyway, to find those it makes me wonder but I'm gonna let this run like you guys always say for a couple minutes then I'm gonna do a clean out first clean out of my sawtooth mat Gold Rush 23 well, howdy hey okay well I got her all cleaned up Panned into my super sluice. Didn't have a lot of cons. But. Either this is an epic fail. Um, either by me running it incorrectly. Or. Yeah, that's good. That, that's really it. Uh, the other option is, when I did my Frankenstein sluice with this stuff, I got more gold than I thought. That test pan threw me off, but I should have had way more gold in there. In fact, this is, I don't even know if these are going to show up. Um, I counted, well, there's three flakes, four flakes, really, really small in like six to eight super duper small micro dots i don't think this camera is going to show it but let me try maybe if i do the underwater trick
So basically, I, I don't know. A uh, little disappointed, but I don't know if I should be. Um, that black sand was ran through three sluices. I ran it through the keen that fed into my backpack and sluice with miner's moss that fed into my dream mat. And then I cleaned it up with my gold wheel on very low setting. And then uh, AU Metal Mental challenged me that I lost some with the gold wheel. Or I, excuse me. I picked up a few more flakes uh, using my blue bowl. So I don't know. But it still was nice to get that put together. Yeah, a little bit down there. I, I find it popped in afterwards. I don't maybe let me take a look. Make sure I cleaned it well. I, I already looked once. I don't know, maybe I didn't. Is that gold? No, that's just... I must have... Must have that's not gold. <laughs> so anyway, it's another tool in the tool bag. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I don't know if I should be disappointed or thankful I got it all on the first try. Um, I did do another half a scoop out of my, I dumped that bucket again after uh, I talked to you last, and there was no gold in that one. So maybe, because I did take a half of one from the first bucket, half of one from the second bucket, and then the third bucket, which I just said I... I did. I haven't done the fourth, but I didn't find no gold in the second one. But the, I should have done the the scoop separate, uh, first bucket, second bucket, third bucket, stuff like that, because the first bucket had a lot of me doing some adjustments. So maybe I blew some out, maybe I didn't. But uh, I don't know. It still was a relaxing day. I don't know. <laughs> I have my reading glasses on. It's the only way I can see those. And I don't think it's going to fill up my snuffer jar. But, hey, you know what? It's just, it's still fun to try. Um, I know where it is, where I dump it out. So if you guys, if you beach miners, leave me a message and say, hey, I screwed everything up. You're not supposed to do this or you should do that. Tell me. I, I'm open ears. I... I this is all new. This is just a new potential play thing that if I find some black sand when I go prospecting, I can collect it and bring it home. And then on a rainy day, not normally a beautiful day like this, I can, uh, I can play with it. I have, you know, I still have an idea about using, because that actually took a long time. What, what time is it? Holy crud, that took like just to do two buckets of sand, and I know it's two buckets because that's all I brought home. Um, that was almost three hours, like two and a half hours, two and a half to three hours. Um, I'm almost wondering, because I was going to play with the idea of setting my, my gold wheel in here, in here, because it has like a PVC base, and then just put a bucket down there and have it feed into there at whatever rate I want and I'll still end up with a lot of black sands but it does a good job but this gold is so small I don't um, I mean I've, I've found gold this small before but not when it's only this small so I'm, I'm a little well again I don't know if I should be disappointed or I should be happy that Frankenstein caught it all so I don't know Anyway, it was just a fun day, and uh, I at least get to put something in my snuffer. So, hey, the 4th of July is coming. I may have a short prospector trip that we're planning on potentially doing on the morning of the 4th. 
But if I don't get back on, I want to wish everybody a happy 4th of July. Be safe. Have fun. Find those nugs. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that subscribe. I'm shooting for 500. Until next time, Cold Rush 23. Have a great week.